Hey guys, stunt the grinder here, eBay grinder. Let's talk about eBay jail. I keep mentioning I'm in eBay jail. And what happens when you go to eBay jail is they don't promote you what you're selling as much. They charge you an extra six or seven percent fee. You may or may not get the uh, same break on shipping. And at the end of the month, they charge you a little bit extra, I think. But why am I in eBay jail? I'm just going to read this without these glasses on. I had last year and this year, I had six cancellations out of 200 a little less than 300 products. December 18th of 21, I had to cancel a book. That was legit. I sold it. Yeah, and evidently eBay didn't take it off right. It should have been off, but it wasn't. December 24th, was I canceled a sale. Not, I'm not going to go into this long thing about that one. Of a uh, horse statue I was selling I felt like it was a scam because they had bought it wanted to send it here and asked me 500,000 questions about it and I just finally canceled it and then somebody else bought it within two hours after I canceled it and it was relisted sending it to the general area to the other one Anyway, I ended up canceling it. When I did sell it, it turned out pretty much to be a scam because I lost, I didn't lose money on it, but I didn't make as much profit because they cried. They had sent it to California and California had sent it back to some other state and it got broken in the process. And I just ate it. Anyway, on July 8th, no, January 8th, I had to cancel uh, two bags of house ultra yellowstone grits because I did let the date run out but little did I know that they wasn't making uh, yellow grits no more for whatever reason you couldn't find them nowhere the house ultra brand you can get the white ones can you, you still can't get the yellow ones and this is this is almost 2023 Kirkland Aspirin I canceled. Uh, it did run out. No, I just didn't go out and get any more. I just canceled it. January 6th, I had to cancel jars of Jif because Jif recalled all their peanut butter. You can't send bad peanut butter plus the date was right as soon as they canceled they bought it and the, the expiration date was hasn't run out but it was within two weeks of running out but the biggest thing is they they recalled all their peanut butter you couldn't find none what am i supposed to do with that and the other one is eight cans of rio uh rotel original tomato stuff and i think the date ran out of that that's why I'm on eBay. That's why I'm in eBay jail, as I call it. Now, he keeps sending me all this stuff, telling me how to get out of eBay jail. You know, you got to get your feedbacks 100%, which mine has been all year. Mine's almost always 100%. You got to ship promptly which I always ship no later than three days, but usually I ship the same day as I get it, and certainly the next day. Everything they recommend I do, I've been doing. And they're my, they've got me at a performance level, below performance level. That's when they can add the, up to 6% onto your 
fees that you pay them and it does make a difference normally for i don't know say a 20 dollar item you may pay three dot three dollars and some change in fees now you pay almost six it's uh anywhere from a dollar fifty to two dollars extra per item now i haven't called and talked to them because i don't think it'd do no good but i may because you know they're threatening they've been threatening me if i don't get it off of this come january they may restrict what i can sell they've already kind of restricted me from selling overseas i used to could do it through their global shipping program but once they once i got below um performance by them i'm not allowed to use that no more there's a couple other things i can't use until i get back to at least minimum performance which almost all year i've been above performance and i have been top seller you know things they want you to do as a top seller they want you to you know if you want to stay a top seller always give free refund always sell everything always mail everything within a day etc cetera, etc cetera. you know i don't give free refunds on a few things i do but most stuff i don't because a lot of people send stuff back because of reasons quite frankly are stupid but you know that's the name of the game so that's why I keep referring to being in eBay jail because I'm being punished. I have uh, 847 items on eBay and it's like I'm being punished for selling them because they charge more and because <clears throat> I had to cancel six in uh, out of 300. That's 2.30% uh, 2. 2. what it is. But that's the life of an eBay grinder. I'm not the only one. There's other people going through the same thing. So that's why I keep referring to it. And I'll keep selling, you know, unless they really restrict me bad. And then I'll just switch everything over to Poshmark and Macari and a few others. I, I use Poshmark now, but I don't have a. A regular sales thing I sell something Poshmark I don't know a couple of items a month maybe but I mainly have clothes and socks and ties and shoes on that so sorry if it's boring kind of venting but I wanted you know to share why I was in why I keep referring to eBay jail but the biggest thing is I enjoy selling to the public I enjoy selling things that sometimes you can't find. So, that's the way it goes. We'll check you later on the next video.